Hey, it's me, Josh Reimer, and today I want to talk to you about the sun. I'm not sure if you've heard of it, but it's up there in the sky, a big yellow thing. Oh yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Well, our friend upstairs, as I like to say, if you had about 200 billion steps, as I counted, that's how many it would take. Really? That many? Yeah, try that on your Fitbit. I don't think it'll go that high. Well, regardless of that, I want to talk to you about the sun because researchers are saying that they've now discovered that we are going to have a mini ice age by 2030. Uh-oh. Yeah, only like 15 years from now. So enjoy your global warming while it lasts, because it ain't going to last. We're going to be freezing our butts off. The long and the short of it, though, is that competing physical cycles in the sun will cancel each other out in the next solar cycle. Are you taking notes? Because uh, what's going to happen with that is that we're going to have a mini ice age like the one that we actually had from 1645 to 1715. I remember that. Well, back then, we actually had some rivers freeze over that don't normally freeze over. And I don't know about you, but I am not a fan of cold. That's why I moved to Vancouver. It's pretty much the warmest spot we have in Canada. Unfortunately, the United States conquered Hawaii because I wish we had conquered that first. Like, seriously, the US can have Alaska. Can't we just have Hawaii? What does that have to do with the sun? I, I don't know, just go along with my logic. Entering a mini ice age isn't all doom and gloom though because there could be plenty of good things that come from it. If you want to own a heating company of some sort or you want to sell warm clothing, have a tanning salon, there's actually lots of ways that you could make money off of this. Everybody else will be f but you'll be rich. Anyway, the prediction is that solar activity will fall by 60% between 2030 and 2040, which is going to cause this mini ice age. And 60% sounds like a lot to me. Like, think about a 60% drop in anything else. Like, if your sandwich got 60% smaller, you'd be pretty hungry. Or if your bedroom got 60% smaller, you wouldn't have enough room for all your space. Or if the guy you're dating got 60% smaller when you took your clothes off, you'd be pretty offended. Are you comparing the sun to a penis? I see the connection. It's that logic again. Yeah. But the long and the short of it is that we should probably be be prepared for some pretty bitterly cold winters in our future. Unless you live somewhere that's already really warm year-round, or you're in your 90s or something, because then you're gonna die before this happens anyway. You can at least take solace in that, or solstice in that. Get it? Sun humor. Yeah, that's pretty lame. Yeah, I can't be both good-looking and funny all the time, okay? Can't really be either most of the time. So what do you think about this mini Ice Age stuff? Let me know on Facebook or Twitter, and thanks for watching this episode of The Sassy Scoop. See you next time!